amount of fucking noise. It's fucking ungodly for sure. It's fucking crazy. So much motherfucking noise. So yeah, these fucking people been exposed to several fucking trains of thought or whatever, but they're not really well thought out. <sighs> um, and they rely on fucking uh, just allegations, baseless allegations. It's like, it's like, who the fuck is doing the fucking research and fucking confirming these things, you know? What I'm talking about is, uh, Trump commander in chief, fucking military commander in chief. Biden can't Biden can't do anything because uh I don't know, fucking he's not the real president or some shit. It's like holy fuck. These things uh, these is just I mean it's 130 fucking decibels in there. I might not be exaggerating. Cuz uh illegal to do the uh <sighs> it's illegal to do the uh talking about the bible and shit you know telling you know this shit fucking prophesied oh i don't want to hear it it's like you know what a fucking a dude so pretty sure what i need to do is just uh let's just say uh i got beef with fucking the tin in Idaho. That's gonna be, that's gonna be another video. But with fucking Israel, or uh, you know, state of Israel, fucking crypto Jews, motherfuck those assholes. Um, I haven't been paying attention to the news because <laughs> there's no news around here, dude. It's only, it's only fucking. Secondhand shit, there's no facts. There's no facts, so it's all fucking delusion. I mean, that's what it is. So the whole Trump, MAGA, fucking, he's gonna save everything, fucking strong delusion. Strong delusion. The, uh, they, you know, and it's based on, it's based on godlessness. I mean, that's what it is, because... If you think that a dude is going to save you, you're a fucking retard. You don't know jack diddly fuck all about history. You're a fucking retard. And you should just kill yourself. If you think that a dude is going to save you, then you should kill yourself. Because you're a fucking retard. Um, yeah. I mean, that's how you make the world a better place. If, if you're waiting on a dude to fucking save you, you're done already. You don't got hope. You're not living now, and you won't live later. And maybe at some point you live, but I mean, that would be like later, later. Motherfucking holy shit, dude. So, <sighs> yeah. So, uh, basically, fuck you, fucking insul insular Jews. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I fucking spread my hands out to you. I've tried to explain, or I have explained so many fucking things to you. And I'm talking various people, this fucking Rabbi Han over at fucking Chabad, Spokane, motherfucking, uh, every other fucking Jewish, pseudo-Jewish, Hebrew roots, fucking messianic organization around this area. Fuck all of you. All you guys are fake fucks. And fuck you fucking crypto Jews, so you fucking Israeli fucking faggots. God fucking hates you. I fucking hate you. Netanyahu can suck a big fat fucking demon cock, motherfucker. And totally motherfucking approved. No fucking qualms about this. What's so motherfucking ever? What's so motherfucking ever? Zero motherfucking qualms. Army from the north is gonna fucking rape you motherfuckers. And I hope it hurts, and I hope you suffer. And I want like average fucking suffering time before death, 16 motherfucking minutes. 16 motherfucking minutes. 
average. That's what I want. I want Hezbollah to come down and to rape you and to torture you before you fucking die. I want them to leave survivors as witnesses. I want them to take videotapes and shit. And I want the survivors to go and give their first-hand testimony. And I want it to be the most brutal motherfucking shit in the last fucking 5,000 motherfucking years. The most motherfucking brutal. I want it to be so motherfucking goddamn brutal. It does not, it does not satisfy if two-thirds die. Okay. That does not satisfy. What I want is motherfucking justice. Which means that the motherfuckers I want justice, which means that these motherfuckers, these fucking crypto Jewish motherfuckers, these fucking assholes who fucking have plenty of money and they use it to fuck everyone else over, okay? Those motherfuckers. Those motherfuckers deserve to be flayed alive. Now you Google how you flay a person. That is some fucking shit. And that's just like introductory course and shit. It's going to get way motherfucking worse. 16 minutes average time. I wish that I could say spare the women and children. And there should be some of that. But you, you got to show brutality to make a mark. This is an instance for brutality. So again, the amount of suffering that these children are going to suffer before they die, you know, let's try to make this uh, none, you know, tenth of a second or less or something for a lot of these, right? Which means to keep that average of 16 minutes, you're going to have to keep these motherfucking men alive for days and days. Okay? For the women, you know, uh, fuck, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, and I would advise, you know, I would advise some brutal motherfucking shit. I mean, sodomized to death. With uh, implements. Now, fuck, fuck you, motherfuckers. I want this to happen as soon as motherfucking possible. I want this to happen as soon as motherfucking possible. I want. I want those fucking assholes off of my lawn. That's what I want. Told them not to fucking do what they're doing. Warned them. Warned them how many motherfucking times. And they still choose. They're just going to write their own fucking laws. They're just going to respect their own fucking wishes. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show them what I think about that. I'm going to show them. And the entire world is going to see... What I think about that. And fuck them. And fuck them hard. To be very clear. I'm not recommending. That Hezbollah. The people. Okay. The people in. Uh, fuck it. Lebanon. Crash down. I'm not recommending to the people. What I'm doing expressing my wishes to my dudes who are going to express my wishes to kind of some of my dudes, but more the other guy's dudes. But they're my dudes too, you know, I mean, it's just a, it's an interesting familial relationship. And so...
Cadê? And so, uh, and so you do, uh, what do you call it? They've been warned, they've been warned, they've been warned. Daniel 12, they know exactly what the fuck is going on. I've contacted <laughs> sufficient numbers of people that if God gave a shit about any of y'all, he would have caused you to respond, strike up a conversation, and come let us reason together. However, God hates your motherfucking guts. So he allowed you to be a jack fuck and just ignore me. And that's cool. Totally within your rights to do that. But I'm totally within my rights. To revoke your license to breathe. On my earth. Because you fucking suck and every breath that you take makes my word, makes my earth less valuable. So I gotta do some triage. Mitigate damages. Uh, paradoxically with uh, a lot of fucking damage and so that's how it's gonna be now I really want this done before the beginning of the year however I would like it done like uh, <laughs> before the close of the week that's what I would really like done but beginning of the year that's what I would also like done and then Passover it could be could be slaughter, slaughter them as the firstborn of the fucking wicked motherfucking dark ass motherfucking deluded motherfucker. And blam, firstborn, done, synagogue of Satan, wipe the fuck out. That would make sense. Right on Pesach. It's going to be my Pesach, as, I mean, it could be their Pesach too, you know, might as well, I mean, maybe, I don't know. My guys know what they're doing. They're privy to a lot more information than I am. Uh, in, in, a, in a slicker fashion than I am. And that's what I want to happen. Close of the week, priority one. That would be nice. Uh, Pesach, that seems the most logical. Uh, and then you got the... Uh, you got the uh, Eclipse. Nah, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. So, yeah. I mean, it's like Pesach, deadline, no later than. That's my vote. That's my will. Pesach, no later than. Do I have to issue an order? <laughs> if my guys don't understand that I'm issuing an order, they're not very well qualified to be my guys now, are they? So, no. I don't have to spell that shit out and tell you exactly what I fucking mean, dude. This is fucking between me and them. We have understandings. I don't have to be so explicit. They understand. They read the same book I do. They understand. And they understand certain things better than I do right now. So. Yeah, that's it. I mean. Maybe if, if, if I got that much respect in the eyes of God, then close of the week. That would be nice. But definitely Pesach. I have any respect in the eyes of God. I pray more than anything right now, more than anything, to waste those motherfucking cocksuckers on or by Pesach and fucking start turning this motherfucking world around. I mean, that, that's the initiating circumstance pretty much. Judgment begins with them. Everybody sees. And then they have full disclosure. As to what they may be able to expect if they put the same shit into the system. You want to do the same thing, you're going to get the same results. You know, equal opportunity, motherfucking, put your ass on a fucking spike 30 feet in the air. I mean, I hesitated to call it a good day. But, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be a good day. It's not going to be a good day. I don't think there's... Any if, ands, or buts about that, but I mean, pretty much, it's not going to be a good day. I'm not going to be happy about it. I'm, I'm not happy about it, but it's like, it's not the end of these guys. 
they're just gonna die. Like it's not a big deal, man. They're just going to sleep. And they'll be woken up again, and uh, we're gonna deal with some motherfucking issues. But you know, we're gonna put that off until after we reward some winners and shit. Okay, so these guys are just gonna be wasted. Go to sleep. Doesn't fucking matter. You suffer for average sixteen minutes. Not a big fucking deal. It's like I've been suffering for fucking seven years. So fuck you. 15 minutes, cry me a motherfucking river. I don't give a shit. I would much rather, I've suffered so much more pain over the last seven years uh, being alive than I would have if I would have just had a fucking rod rammed up my fucking asshole. And if I was ho- hoisted in the air and fucking, it took a day and a half to die, it's like no big fucking deal. Day and a half, hand me, please. Shit. I can do a day and a half of excruciating pain. Fuck. Never passed out because of pain. That would be nice. You know? Die of shock or something. Not a big fucking deal. A day and a half? I can do that. Not a big fucking deal. Not that I'm volunteering, but that I'm comparing. I've been through more than that. If anybody wants to argue that, you know, they're free to argue. It's like, uh, careful because you're not privy to very much information, you know? Like, the, the presupposed to be an authority on... <laughs> My experience is kind of like a very ignorant thing to do. Pretty much, pretty much. Uh, but, then again, if you got the Bible verses and shit, I'm down to be instructed. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you could do it. I would love to be instructed. Like, please, like, it's just hard to find an instructor. You know what I'm saying? So I got one instructor. Hasn't led me astray yet. You know, it ain't never going to lead me astray. It's like, well, we got a thing going on. We're kind of tight, so. Yeah. Yeah, a week. I would love to hear or see, you know, hear about it or see it, you know, in a week. Within a week. Yeah, fuck, dude. It would be great if it happened fucking now. Like, right this very motherfucking second. Uh, fucking almost the fucking Gregorian fucking you-know-what. I ain't give a shit, I'm trying to stay out of that, but, you know, you, you want to save a pig, you gotta step your ass into the fucking pig trough, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe not the best job of the day, but there are worse jobs. So, uh, fuck this, I'm kind of cold, and fuck this, and more than anything, fuck you motherfucking two-faced motherfuck, synagogue of Satan, fuck you in the ass. 16 minutes, I want to see a lot of motherfucking brutality. I mean, I want to see a lot of motherfucking brutality. And it's it's just an introduction. Because the shit that's going to come after that is going to be worse. And less worse, but worse too. Okay, and it's going to have more, more standard deviation in the next round. Uh, fuck, dude. Yeah. So, it is so ordered. It is so ordered, or it is so expressed, that that's my will. If I have to issue a motherfucking order, dude, I'm going to start getting frustrated. I shouldn't have to be ordering fucking anybody, okay? I'm going to get frustrated if I have to order fucking anything. Tell you what I want, it's fucking there. I expect that because that's what I do to everybody that doesn't fuck me. And so that's what I expect. You don't hang out with me. If you want to go be selfish, you don't hang out with me. You just don't don't let me find you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's getting to the point where I'm not going to tolerate that shit. And I'm just going to fucking kick you in the fucking knee. <laughs> and you're going to live in a wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll give you a warning and shit, but I'm not backing down. I know how much damage your dumbass motherfucking has caused because you fucking used your fucking heads. Pretending like you're smart and shit. It's like, no, motherfucker. Yeah, you don't even hold a candle to a fucking dog. Like, if you think that you know fucking anything, it's like, uh, shit, dude. It's like, yeah, I, it, there's no reason not to completely destroy one of your knees. If you think that you know something, no reason not to destroy your knees. I mean, literally, you cannot come up with an objection. Because it's the most logical, fucking wholesome thing to do. Okay, believe it or not. The most wholesome. You know, you can see your legs still attached. Maybe reconstructive surgery. I don't know, but it's better to have your legs still attached than not. I mean, I know that from experience. And then, uh, 
hurts and shit, you know, a good reminder. Good reminder, and then at least you'd be able to connect it. This is, you know, recompense for exactly what you fucking did. So, you know, maybe stop thinking anything of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know shit. I don't know shit. He doesn't know shit. She doesn't know shit. None of us know shit. That's why God's there. <laughs> and just waiting for fucking questions. And if you think you know shit, that means you're not asking questions. Which means God fucking hates you. Because you're usurping his authority. To run every motherfucking aspect of your life. You need to ask for advice from the, 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 the infallible source of intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, dude. This is fucking stupid. Anyway. Yeah. But, I mean, that's my decision. I want to see him. I want to see him writhing in pain. Like tonight. Breaking news. Da 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 da. Look at this shit. That's what I want to see. And then as for the rest of it, fuck this. Fuck this whole motherfucking. Fuck all you motherfuckers who think, oh fuck. It's fucking crazy. There's a lot of shit to fuck. And I'm not going to rest until I fuck all of it. I'm going to fucking destroy all of it for miles and miles and miles. And if I fucking see it, I'm going to whip out a motherfucking mortar. And I'm going to run my calculations. And I'm going to drop a mortar on your motherfucking head. And uh, you know, don't be fucking pissing me off. Going out there with your family and shit. It's like, oh, shit, man. It's like, it was, I got to put more effort into planning how I'm going to evacuate your fucking cranium and shit. Fucking terrible fucking shit. 